Hey chatters, I just want to do a quick video on a recently released feature through ChatGPT, which are the ability to make your own connectors. For those who don't know, what connectors do is allow for more agentic actions. So you can just give an LLM the tools you want it to use. You ask a question and it'll do all the things that you want it to do. Before, if we come into ChatGPT and we come into settings, we can see that we've had connectors already, but many of them are predefined and therefore can only do a few different things. So for example, if I come into Gmail, really it can do a bunch of stuff like read emails, add or remove labels, get profiles, search your emails, and it can even send an email, but you're just, you can't do anything else that they haven't provided you essentially. Now what they've allowed you to do is to add your own connectors. They have to be somewhere on some server. I'm going to show you the easiest way to do that. But the idea now is you can add your own connectors based on whatever tools you like to use. So for example, at least right now, there is no Google Docs connector for me to create Google Docs. So that's what we're going to do in this video. To be able to do this, at least right now, it's probably going to change by the time this video comes out. But if you come to the connectors and you come down to advanced settings, you're going to have this option right here, developer mode beta. And you're just going to want to turn this on. This is going to give you access. Then when we come back to connectors, you're going to want to come to create. And you're going to see a little input thing right here. So first, we're going to do the icon. I already downloaded the Google icon, so we're going to add that here. I'm going to call it the Google Docs connector. We're going to say controls Google Docs. And then we put the server URL. Now there's many ways that we can do this, but the main way that I would recommend is if you use a tool like make.com or N8N, which I prefer, you can actually create these MCP nodes triggers and then connect them up to all the tools you want. So you'll see here, I have a create document, find and replace in a document, insert text in a document. And so if we come into here, you're going to see it has some sort of URL and then definitely set up your credentials and tokens. So no one can just hijack whatever you're doing. And then we just want to copy that URL. We'll come back to chat GPT and we'll just stick that right in there. And then we're going to say, I trust this application and we're going to do create. So next up, what you're going to want to do is just start a new chat. You're going to come into the plus sign and then hit more. And you're going to see this developer mode right here. So we'll click that. And you can see I have Google Docs connector. If I open this, I can turn it on or off. And I'm going to say, go create a Google Doc with a poem about a wizard. Let's see what it does. Now you do have to be specific, right? If you just said, go create a document, it might do something different. So you really want to be specific, like what you want it to do. It's going to ask me permission to use this tool. I'll say, remember for this conversation. So it created the document called the wizard's poem, and now it should actually go and write the poem. So it's calling the tool and it's writing some text. So let's just give it a second. Again, it's asking my permission. We'll confirm. And it's been created. So let's click the link and let's see what it came up with. And there you go. The wizard's poem upon the hill where shadows loom, a wizard weaves both light and gloom with whispered spells and staff held high. He bends the stars that guard the sky. So this is pretty ridiculous. I will say that Claude has been able to do this forever. And am I testing better? But I know most people use chat GPT. So the fact that they've added this now is quite incredible. It means that more people are going to have access to more agentic workflows and tools. I'll just put this out there. We've been building connectors for quite some time now, either through applications like N8N or actually building personalized connectors for folks. So if you're interested in having us build you a connector that connects with ChatGPT or Claude or pretty much anything, definitely reach out and we'd be happy to help you.